Whoa. This is, <laughs> this is the big dude. Um, this is a Polyjet 3D printer. This is a different type of technology. This big head travels over, this arm comes down, and it basically sprays down a UV light cured resin. And the models that come out of it are going to be like this. What's special about this is that it can print in two types of materials at once, and you can get several uh, variant mixtures therein. Oh, wow. So it's like having two ingredients and 14 different recipes. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, get different values of gray by putting two types of card, by putting a, a white type of plastic and a black type of plastic in, or a transparent type of plastic and a white type of plastic. Uh, the other special thing about this is that it can print in rubber-like materials as well, with differing values of hardness. Mm -hmm. So you can get something that's, um, you know, as as pliable as a pencil eraser or as hard as a tire tread. Uh, good example. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can tell or can see very well, but my, my fingerprint is making an impression and it, and it yields a little bit and it's kind of kind of cool that way. Oh, good mm -hmm. Um And that's however like material. These are non-assembled parts. Wow. They came out looking this way. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay, because it can print two different materials at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's scary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You don't have to fit it inside. It's already built right <laughs> yeah and the support material that comes off of that it's uh, it's crumbly and and like this you know you can chip away at it and and deep down there's a design that looks sort of like a teddy bear hmm. and you can see these are the finished cleaned off versions of that and that's what they look like after nice. being jetted clean with water and whatnot. 